So these are babies that were born with, uh, with uh, heart defects uh, that had a variety of either interventions and or surgeries uh, to correct uh, usually problems with connections inside their heart. Uh, and these, these, these babies and children have now grown up and they're in adulthood, and now they're facing a whole different type of uh, medical dilemma uh, where they're not just children anymore, but they're, they're facing uh, adult medical issues like high blood pressure, diabetes, or even something like pregnancy. Well, it's a, <clears throat> it's a pretty new era, the um, adult congenital heart disease. Um, and the main reason for that is that um, over the past uh, 25 to 30 years, we now have a large number of, of children who had serious anomalies of their heart, had them repaired and have survived, and now they're in their teens, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and even a few in their 60s. And um, some of these repairs were not permanent. There have been other changes. Sometimes they used uh, parts and pieces that were um, prosthetic and weren't going to grow and have, have need to be replaced. Uh, quite a number of them are going to need to have uh, uh, procedures or medication for arrhythmias, irregular heartbeats. Just a few decades ago, 90% uh, of these uh, babies may not have survived into, uh, uh, into adulthood. We now fully expect that uh, over 85% of these, uh, of these um, kids will uh, live to adulthood. Uh, a lot of these uh, children, unfortunately, uh, as they were growing up into teenagers, told that, uh, were told that they were fixed and that, they're, uh, that, they're, uh, that they shouldn't have any problems in adulthood. Whereas we know that around the third, fourth decade of life, many of these patients have increasing problems in terms of heart rhythm problems, heart failure, or even managing uh, potential for sudden cardiac death. Interestingly, uh, for the first time, there are more adults in the United States than children living with congenital heart disease. So there are actually over one million adults with congenital heart problems. Unfortunately, there are not a lot of specialized heart centers uh, dealing with congenital heart disease. In fact, there is no specific training route at this time for uh, learning how to manage patients with congenital heart disease. Uh, the unique aspect of the University of Nebraska is our uh, cooperative uh, venture with uh, Children's Hospital, where we manage patients both um, from, uh, from, the, from Children's Hospital as well as the adult hospital, and we're able to manage them from the spectrum of uh, when they're babies up to young adulthood into, uh, into their late adulthood. We're also able to provide them with many different therapeutic options. We have different uh, uh, interventions that we can perform in different surgeries, and we work together as a group to decide what is in the best interest of each of our patients.